Lonnie the Theater Lady, here to give her take on Vanya and Sonia and Masha. Mutt and Jeff and uh, <laughs> Vanya and Sonia and, and Masha. Masha and Spike. And Spike. Quite a title at the City Theater. And I think the title just gives you a little bit of a preview of the whole flavor of the show. That it's hard uh, to repeat? <laughs> <laughs> just the whole Christopher Durang, oh, wacky, yes. zany, crazy. Um, I think Christopher Durang's hilarious. So it's definitely um, in the Durang motif. Absolutely. So Durang fans will yes. be pleased. Yes. And it turns out that he and Tracy Brigden are very good friends. Oh. And she commissioned this play to come here before she knew that it was going to be the Tony Award winner for Best Play for 2013. Well, and it also got the Drama Desk Award for Best Play of 2013. It's clean in house everywhere. And Christopher Durang was just inducted into the Theater Hall of Fame this year, too. Judging from the audience last night, the Pittsburgh will enjoy this show very much. I've seen some of the photos. The set looks beautiful. Um, oh my gosh, the set was unbelievable. Right, because it's supposed to be a house in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, right. actually. Uh, it's yeah. a good looking play. It's it a good really looking is. play. And the, the actors in it were also pretty good looking. Oh. Especially As you clutch your pearls. Ooh, the one young man that kept taking off his clothes. I liked him. A lot. I did hear that uh, he was easy on the eyes for two hours. Yes, well, easier when he had his clothes off, actually. <laughs> but <laughs> Spike was the young kind of wannabe actor who had attached to him, himself and had a relationship with a much older actress who was one of the three siblings in the play that was. Vanya and Sonia and, and Masha, Masha, the yes. two sisters and the brother. And Spike was the boyfriend of Masha. Helena Ruati is... My favorite. I know you're a big fan. I'm a very big fan. Um, she just had the right amount. She was the Hollywood star. Come home oh, to Bucks County yes, yes. to visit with her siblings. And she just had the right amount of arrogance and haughtiness and Hollywood glamour and flash. Uh, Sheila McKenna. Oh, wow. She was playing I, Sonia. Yes. yes. And to me, I have seen her act several times too, but I became a little bit more aware of her last night because the role that she played, she became such a sympathetic character. And then by the end, I was rooting for her, like, you go, girl, because she almost transformed almost like a butterfly in front of your eyes. Sheila McKenna is not only, I think, one of the finest comedic actresses in Pittsburgh, but one of the funniest comedic actresses anywhere. She was the, the character that I went home feeling most, for whatever reason, connected to. Oh. She felt the most, not that any of them were unreal or inauthentic, but her character itself, the way the play was written and how she did it was the most authentic and somebody I felt like I could know. Harry, and we can't decide how to say his last name, if it's Bovi or Boovy, who played Vanya. Mm. Who, by the way, is not Stanley Tucci. <laughs> so I've heard. Mm. Look-alike, perhaps, but not really Stanley Tucci. When he went into a harangue talking about what life used to be like compared to what it is now. Amazing. I have heard that there is, he delivers an epic, epic rant uh, somewhere in Act 2. And it uh, was. it's worth seeing. Oh, and the young girl, the little ingenue, uh, her name was Haley Nielsen. Mm. Had a, a small part, but, you know, there are no small parts. She did it very well. And she's a recent Point Park graduate. She just graduated in 2012. I just got a tremendous, tremendous kick out of Amira Van. <laughs> and the role what? She's, Amira Van. Uh, That's her name, the actress. I think you said Amira Van. And I'm like, was that <laughs> well, some... I would like that too. Was <laughs> that some <laughs> wild ride you were kicking around in in the 60s? You know, actually, I wish I... Well, well we're not going there. <laughs> <laughs> That's another but interview. Yes, absolutely. But Amira Van played the housekeeper, who was also a psychic, but she was hilarious. She had this headband and this hair that was 
as big as the world. Her physicality and her um, her voice and the way she pranced around the stage. She was so wacky that she was almost believable. I've known some people that are just about that wacky. Well, this sounds like a, a great ensemble. You know, everyone's a standout in this. They really were, and what, I think what was really good about it is how they all played off each other so well. All right, so Vanya okay. and Masha. No, Von, Sonia. Sonia comes before Vanya and Sonia and, and Masha. And Spike. And Spike at the City Theater. Sonia, Ma, Marsha and Jan and <laughs> Cindy and Alice the maid. I and think that's the Brady Bunch, yeah. <laughs> All right, wait, wait. Alice and no, no there's oh, no, yeah. there's no Alice. There's I'm why am I saying Alice? Inducted or abducted? <laughs> I honestly didn't hear you. <laughs> Inducted. I'm sitting right here. Abducted. That's the muscle I'm here. Oh, I'm abducted. Uh, no, I'm thinking of like you know, aliens from outer space. Anyway. No. Oh, yeah. You, st you start out as a tour de force, and then eventually you're forced to tour. <laughs> well, that's a pretty important distinction. Tranquilizers versus antidepressants. It is. I'll have to see it again. I Listen, think I'm they never, might have said I'm never taking. <laughs> I'm never taking an aspirin from you ever again. <laughs> I might not wake up the next day. I'll wake up a week later in Tijuana, <laughs> Mexico. Without your shoes. Oh, that'd be the worst <laughs> of it. Uh, my landscaper actually had that happen once, but I digress. <laughs> what, you what slipped he... him a Mickey and he woke up in Tijuana? <laughs> he told me that he woke up one morning in Florida without his shoes, and the last he remembered was he was in Pittsburgh. And that's when he stopped drinking. But as I said, I digress. <laughs> we need to go out with this guy. 